What's up? I'm Ashley Moan, and today we're with Jody Honaski talking about the convention and 132nd annual meeting that's coming up June 27th to July 1st in Bellevue, Washington, which is about 15 minutes from Seattle. Welcome, Jody. Thank you. Uh, so, looking at the schedule, we have some exciting events um, planned, and Washington did a great job. Uh, so, can you talk about some of the tours that we can look forward to and that they can choose from while they're out there? Yes, thank you, Ashley. Absolutely. Um, the Washington folks have really done a great job putting together a really neat schedule and some wonderful options. Uh, those of you that haven't been to the Seattle area, it's personally one of my favorite parts of the country. They have such a diverse agriculture base, mm -hmm. and uh, the schedule really showcases some of that diversity. So I'm really excited uh, for those that get to take part in the tours. Um, so there's a pre-tour that they're offering. It's called the Southern Farm Tour. Okay. Uh, that's going to go to two farm stops, Clicado and to Portman's. Mm -hmm. And the highlight at the end of the tour is going to be a local oyster feast mm -hmm. with drinks, dinner, and dancing. So that's going to be a lot of fun for those folks that can come out early and take advantage of the pre-tour. And that was uh, Wednesday? On Wednesday. Wednesday. On Wednesday. So then Thursday we move into the official host day. So that's our, our normal tour day for folks. Um, and there's three options. The first is a whale watching tour. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to feature, there's three pods of orca whales and some beautiful scenery that they're going to see on that whale watching tour. Uh, the second option is the ever popular farm tours. Mm -hmm. Two great stops there as well. First will be Sildal, and then second they'll stop at Markwell Raspberries, or the raspberry operation, but they're bringing in some of the best cattle from throughout Washington to their place. Um, so mm -hmm. you'll see not only the Markwell Raspberry operation, but get to see some great cattle while you're there too. And taste some raspberries. Yes, probably. on ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Again, featuring that great diversity. Uh, so then the, the last, uh, the third host day tour option is Explore Seattle. And this is going to be another neat one. It's, it's um, a bus tour throughout Seattle, and they're going to drop you off at Pike Place Market for about an hour and a half to explore, which is a feast for the eyes. Um, there's some great food, uh, you know, local cheesemongers and sausage makers and fruits and vegetables and, of course, seafood. And uh, lunch will be on your own that day. So you can explore around the, the area that's just beautiful. The pier there is gorgeous. Um, and they're going to bring you back by like 2.30. So that's a nice tour for somebody who doesn't want to be gone all day right. and just uh, explore a little bit of Seattle and what they have to offer. You could eat your way through Seattle. I would love to. That <laughs> yeah. sounds wonderful. Or drink coffee through the Seattle, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so many options. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, great tours planned. Awesome tours. That's really, exciting. really a lot to offer. I mean, I... I I'd encourage anybody who's coming, you know, come early, stay later, do all of those things. Mm -hmm, definitely. Uh, so the next big event, I guess, for us would be the 132nd annual meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, great speakers lined up. So if you want to tell us a little about the speakers and what we can expect for the annual meeting, um, that'll be great. Yes. So we have an early bird session that you are not going to want to miss. Um, Dr. Dan Weigel, mm -hmm. who's a Holstein breeder and researcher with Zoetis is going to take a look back on uh, the wellness traits that they introduced about a year ago. Uh, the title of his talk is Results and Applications of Wellness Traits, What We Have Learned. Um, he brings great perspective because he's a researcher but a Holstein breeder. Uh, so he's going to give some great insight on how those wellness traits are really benefiting us in the Holstein breed. Uh, so that's an early bird session on Friday morning before we start annual meeting uh, that you're not going to want to miss. That's at 7.30. 7.30 in the morning, bright, bright and in early. Bright and early, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we'll get rolling into our annual meeting, uh, break for lunch, and then when we come back from lunch, we'll have a keynote speaker mm -hmm. that's going to be Michelle Ruby. Uh, again, one of our very own Holstein breeders uh, from that part of the country, and she's a communications consultant. And her talk is going to be titled, A Story Worth Telling. So she's going to give you some great advocacy tips on how to be a good promoter for the dairy industry. But she's going to tie it into those of us involved in the registered Holstein business and how to better market our brand uh, of our breeding and, and what we're involved with in our perspective of the dairy industry. So I think that's going to be a really neat talk Absolutely. as well. Yes, we'll look forward to it. Yeah. So Friday, um, we'll be presenting some awards throughout the day, uh, the Star of the Breed, the Herd of Excellence, 
uh, as well as honor our 40 year members. Um, you'll hear the CEO State Association address, the CFO's financial report from last year. Um, so it's going to be a packed day. Yes. Great speakers to look forward to um, on Friday. And so the second day of annual meeting is Saturday. So what's in store for that day? So the, the big feature on Saturday will be our elections. We will be electing a president, vice president, as well as regional directors in regions two, three, and seven, mm -hmm. and one at-large seat will be filled. While we're counting ballots and, uh, and taking care of some of that business, we'll have committee reports. Uh, so a lot of the delegates and members are really interested to hear what some of the committees have been up to. Those will be really interesting. Um, and also, uh, the delegates will be voting on, there's one bylaw amendment that was sent out in the call to convention just recently here. Mm -hmm. um, it's really just a housekeeping amendment that relates to us being able to register international animals. Um, and then if there's any resolutions presented, uh, the delegates will vote on those as well. So the final event of the week would be the banquet. Um, and what's, what's looking forward to that? What, what's in store? So the banquet is the culmination of a great week of events where we present our elite breeder, distinguished leadership, and distinguished young Holstein Breeder Award winners. We keep them a surprise, <laughs> so it's always fun um, to, to go through that evening and uh, present those big three awards. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So this is a packed, fun, full event. Um, and if you haven't made your reservations, those are... June, June 1st. Yes. Uh, late ones are June 10th. Mm -hmm. um, so you have a little bit of time if you um, still want to come and make your ticket re reservations. Um, again, that's June 27th to July 1st in Bellevue, Washington. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Jody, for giving us a little insight to what we have to look forward to for convention. Um, and tune in next week for another episode.